Now, I'm not going to do it, but this problem and problems that are kind of um, that don't have lots of little sections, this one might be a good opportunity to write an equation for the shear diagram and to take the integral and get an equation for the moment diagram. Um, so the things that are kind of a, a, a long section um, might, might be a good candidate for writing equations, uh, but I don't, I don't do that. Let's just, I'll show you what I do. Uh, so again, I'm not going to go over this uh, too much, but you should get AY is 900. And maybe I should go over this. We should get that there's a moment at A of 3,000 pound feet of this direction. How did I get that? Uh, well, I knew that this was a, this is not just a pin right there. This is like a fixed wall. And fixed walls can have reaction forces and moments. So I drew a, a force, a Y right there and a moment right there. Looking at the whole free body diagram, I sum the moments about A. Um, I probably guessed what, one way or the other. Um, I guess an MA. Uh, then I've got 300 acting six away. I would replace this one with one force. What would that one force be that I replaced it with? A 600 pound force. Make sure you can handle any type of distributed load. Uh, 600, two feet away. Uh, I, I, what I actually did was I, first I guessed counterclockwise. I like to guess counterclockwise first and then I got MA negative 3000. So it showed me that it was it was not counterclockwise. It was clockwise 3000 <clears throat> and summing the forces in the y direction 300 600 ay equals 900 so i lied that i wouldn't show the statics there, there we go not not too bad All right, so you got to get ay of 900 you got to get the moment at a of 3000 and you got to get that the right direction I like to guess counterclockwise to begin with. Some of my moments all counterclockwise equals zero. And the math would have told me I got negative 3,000, which tells me it was the, the wrong, I drew it the wrong direction. It's actually clockwise. Okay, so since, now that you got the statics, let's do the uh, shear and moment diagrams. Let's do the shear and moment diagrams. All right, I'm about to hop on there and immediately I get pushed down by 300, All right? Immediately, I get pushed down to negative 300. Uh, this is in pounds. All right, let's know. Then I start feeling that distributed load. You know, I'm walking along, it's pushing me down, pushing me down even more, pushing me down even harder, you know, the more I walk down along those six feet. Overall, how much does it push me down? The, the magnitude. Right. Overall, it pushes me down 600. So I go from negative 300 to negative 900. Negative 300 to negative 900. Uh, and then how did it push me down straight, curved, curved? Uh, well, I just, I don't know. It, it just looks to me like it's pushing me just a little bit, barely. But it's really starting to push me down towards the end. Uh, do you see it would be this kind of curvature right here? Maybe I should, could exaggerate this. That curvature, concave, you know, down. And then immediately, yeah, awesome. 900 pushes me straight back up. So there's my... Shear diagram from negative 300 to negative 900 curved um, with that curvature. All right. Next is the moment. Next is the moment. So I'm thinking three things. 
if I see a moment, it immediately goes up and down. Uh, but then the other two things are uh, my moment changes by the area under the curve, and V is the slope of M. So the area under the curve, let's talk about this. Uh, how can we find this area under the curve? So here's where sometimes writing equations would be better. But I'm going to break this up into a rectangle. And then this area right here, this area right here, uh, that's, so that's the area under a parabola, like an x squared parabola. And the area under an x squared function, if the slope begins or ends with a slope of zero, all right, so that green, it's almost a triangular curved area, that, that one begins with a slope of zero. Uh, the area under those x squareds, if it begins or ends with a slope of zero, is either one-third base times height or two-thirds base times height, depending on which half, which portion of it we're looking at. Are we looking at the larger portion or the smaller portion? So that green area, this green area, would be one-third base times height. Okay, so the moment changes by the area under that curve. So the area due to that triangle, that, that um, pink rectangle, the area due to this pink rectangle, it's a 300 by six foot uh, rectangle. So 1800, it's a negative area. Uh, but then also one third base times height. What is the height? Well, it goes 300 to 900. So 600 uh, would be the height. This would be 1,200. Uh, but it's also a negative area because it's under the axis. So 1,800 plus 1,200, you know what? We kind of already knew that, but it's a great way to double check. Uh, it, this goes down to negative 3,000, which is really good because a clockwise 3,000 will bring that straight back up. All right, but I haven't done this yet. Uh, straight, curved, curved. V is a slope of M. So it starts with a slope of negative 300. It ends with a slope of negative 900. So maybe you can kind of draw the slopes there. Uh, and so this is curved that that way, concave down. So, I'm trying to think when these would curve concave up. Um, and I think it would be for if a distributed load was pushed up, but almost all of our distributed loads are pushed down. So that's why most of our moments are concave down, even when it crosses zero. Still curved down. All right, so, so does that make sense? Now the area under an x squared is one third base times height. Or, or, or it would be two thirds if, if for some reason we were looking at that area, that's the, the larger, that would be the two-thirds base times height. Yes, Will? Is uh, that formula for area under prop uh, curves uh, on the formula sheet? No, I don't pro I don't know. Because uh, there are, there, there's a lot of things on that formula sheet. And, I, and I've given you all the formula sheet for test two. Um, so yeah, I, I, Possibly there may be some shapes on there. Uh, so no. So make sure you know that and memorize that. We might do one that has that all. 